Hey everyone and welcome back to VFXY once again. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can install new survival toolkit by Tony Leons. Before starting, let me tell you about Tony Leons. Tony Leons is basically lead compositor in Trickster Studio in Munich. Also, Tony runs a YouTube channel named Compositing Mentor. And trust me, videos on that particular channel are awesome. Personally, I'll recommend you to follow his channel and I am following as well. Also, you can go and you can check his website where he is providing lots of courses, lots of uh, tutorials, lots of other stuff as well. And also he is doing podcast as well. So I will definitely recommend to follow his channel, follow him on LinkedIn. Definitely you will get lots of lots of lots of knowledge. Right. Apart from that, let's talk about a Nuke Survival Toolkit. Nuke Survival Toolkit is basically a collection of multiple tools. Uh, some of them are available on Nukepedia. Some are available on different different resources. Tony combined or Tony collected all those information, those gizmos, those plugins and made a Nuke Survival Toolkit. And don't forget, he added his own tool as well. Right. So let's see how we can install it. Before installing it, I would like to tell you that while installing, I faced lots of problem. So while installing Nuke Survival Toolkit, I will definitely let you know how I fix those problems. Right. So before wasting any time, let's jump to installation. OK, first thing first. I have already installed, but I will let you know step by step how I did it. Right. First thing first, you need to download that survival toolkit. So we'll get it in this particular link. Don't worry. I'll provide that link in description as well. This is a GitHub link. So uh, make sure you are downloading Nuke Survival Toolkit 2.1.1. This is latest version. What you have to do just you have to go and you have to click on that particular link automatically. What will happen? Your download will start. Apart from that, you will get intro to installation video, which is uh, this video. Of course, you can go and you can check this video. So apart from that, you'll have a documentation in PDF format. There will be lots of instruction how you have to do it, right? So once you downloaded that particular source code, what you will get, you will get this RAR file. And after extracting that RAR file, you will have Nuke Survival Toolkit. And in Nuke Survival Toolkit, also you'll have a folder called Nuke Survival Toolkit and everything will be inside it. Also, you can start reading a readme file as well. There will be lots of instructions in Tony's video. What I found, he told us to copy entire folder and paste it in my C drive. Let me show it to you. C drive user and whatever admin or whatever login you are using. So go to admin and there will be dot nuke file. So if I'm going to copy this whole folder, it was not working for me. So what I found just go over here and copy these four folders, right click copy. And instead of copy pasting all folders, personally, I did this and it was working fine for me and paste it over here. Right. Already I have did it. I'm not going to do it again, but paste it like that. Now, main point is how you have to use your these two files. Right. So you don't need to copy paste it because already you are having init.py file and menu.py file. If you're going to copy paste it, it will replace. Just go in dot nuke folder, open it. And now everything you will do over here. OK, so after copy pasting everything, what you have to do, you have to open your readme file, right? So in readme file, you will find this thing. Just copy it and just go to your dot nuke file and just you have to double click on it. And already I have did it, but let me show it to you. Make a space and control V. Now what you have to do just you have to replace few things. You can go and you can copy paste your C drive path where you have pasted it. So control C and you can replace this whole thing with your path, right? It will also work. But in my case, it was not working after doing it. What was happening? My nuke was crashing again and again. So what I did instead of copy pasting it, I simply did this. 
So what you have to do, you have to replace few things and dot slash you have to type nuke survival toolkit and keep it in mind that everything should be in same way. So automatically it will take care about your path and it will start working pretty fine, right? So this way it works for me. It might possible it will work automatically as Tony showed you, but in my case, it was not working. I have tried it in Nuke 12 and Nuke 13 both and it was by doing this way, it was working pretty fine to me. One more thing, I missed it. Let me show it to you. So also what you need to do, you need to take care about your menu.py file as well. So what I'm going to do, let me show it to you. So let's go over here and you will have your menu.py. So what you have to do or probably you can do control A, control C, right? Everything. But few things I need to remove, like I'll show it to you. And after that in dot nuke file, so you have to double click it and you have to paste it, right? Paste each and every detail which, which you are having, right? And keep it in mind, you have to remove few things like you can remove this much data. It won't create any problem. You have to take it from this hashtag, right? So keep it in mind. So I did that and I saved it. And after saving it, when you're going to restart your nuke, automatically you will have your nuke survival toolkit. And in nuke survival toolkit, you have multiple things like image, related to draw, related to time, related to color. And Tony provided us with few templates, his own template, right? So you'll have your advanced king template, right? Everything will be here. Apart from that, you will have ST map keyer setup. So you'll have this keyer setup as well. So multiple things he provided. So this way it worked for me. Hopefully you don't need to do all this thing. The way Tony showed you, probably it will work for you. But I thought to share it with you because the way he showed it was not working for me. I tried with Nuke 12 and Nuke 13, but it was not working for me. So I did some research. I did it the way I showed you and it is working fine for me. Right. So hopefully this video is helping you to understand the way we have to install Nuke Survival Toolkit. And if you think that this video is helping you, please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.